Hey Strat fans, I know, you saw the title of the video and you're like, wait a minute, this is perplexing, isn't this a RPG? You're technically right, but also it has a lot of strategy in it. I've always been a fan of zombies, zombie games, zombie movies, zombie television series. I was a fan of a lot of stuff with that. Back in the day, when this game came out, it was revolutionary to me. I was addicted and I loved the main story and then I loved the DLC that came out with it. So I felt like I should share this with my audience. I should share the love of this game. And to start, I'm going to go through the story and if it does well if you people like me revisiting this classic i'm going to go and do a series on breakdown and maybe even go back and see the prequel series for lifeline so this is state of decay Decay was very revolutionary for its time, I felt. Number two was pretty good, but I always feel like number one really just captivated me, you know? Again, if you like it, once I wrap all of my State of Decay videos up, I might do a guide and final review for the game. If you guys like it and you like what you see and you want more, feel free to smash that like button's thumb right out. Leave a comment down below. Tell me what your favorite part of State of Decay is. Chuck your sub to me as well so you can keep following up to date and see all of my updates for this game and other games that I'm going to cover. Because believe me, this is not the only classic and there will be many more classics games I'm going to play, uh, make guides for, and reviews for. So, hope you guys enjoyed this one. Let's strap ourselves in and go see State of Decay. Holy shit, man! Holy, Holy shit! shit. <laughs> Hold on, I'm coming! <laughs> These guys want to eat us! <laughs> oh, jeez. You okay? Okay, yeah. One of those psychos tried to bite me, but yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. Well, we can't just stay out here in the open, that's for damn sure. Ranger station? Ranger station. Ranger station. All right. Maybe we can find some help there. Let's keep on going. What the hell, man? We're gone two weeks and what? Everybody takes up cannibalism? Bees me. I love the way that you just drop into the game. Also, I'm playing with controller strap fans. I know I'm a filthy console peasant when it comes to this game, but I played this originally on my old Xbox. There's a zombie over there. I'm going to see if I could find anything here before I reach the ranger station. It's always Shit, nice to find some resources. Nice Stay low. See if I can sneak up on Maybe or not. Okay, Ed. You just do that. All right. If we can get some resources. I still think the game looks good after all this time, too. I, I don't see much problems with it. I mean, I know some people did have problems I'll with it, here. but I didn't see much when I played. It doesn't look all that different either. It wasn't even remastered or anything. Just, oh my lord. I love the gore, the blood and gore in here. Ugh. It's fucking awesome. Oh my lord. This must have been like the killing field. Like they walk out into this open area and they're just, you know, destroyed. Now let's see who's in the ranger station. They got like nothing, bro. They're all poor. Man, can anybody tell me what the hell is going on? What's going on is there's more of them up here than I expected. We need to sweep the rest of the cabins for survivors. Got injured people right, here I have to tend to. Okay, we'll see what we can do. We will? I appreciate it. There's a water tower out back that has a good view of the campgrounds. Might be worth your while to climb up there and have a look around first. We've got some supplies in the locker over there. Take what you need and stay safe out there. All right, we'll take what you need. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. I'll take that two by four. I don't think I should take that. I'll just use up my space. I only have a small bag. Never do that, by the way. Never run into a door because it causes too much noise. Looks like a good vantage All point right. up there. Let's get up here for the vantage point and I'm let's there. look. Gonna take a look around. Ooh, nice pickup. Nice pickup truck. Some more campsites. I do like that you can get up in these vantage points and just. Oh, what is he running at? See any more things to scan? Got to be a couple more, right? Guess that's all there is to that's see. That's all there is. You oh, hear that? those are gunshots. Yeah. Guess we're not the only ones having a bad day. I guess not, Ed. All right, let's head towards the gunshots. Maybe I'll stop at some of these fields on the way. Oh, I got this stick. Stick, stick, stick. LB and Y for troller peasants out there to do a finisher. 
It's the only way to kill a zombie and stay alive. If you don't learn how to do that, you won't be able to play this game. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just how it is. Oh my lord. I don't think I want to be in here. I feel like I could get sick doing this. Ugh. Okay, ooh, I'll take that. And I got a rifle. That's one thing I always liked about this game was finding all the different guns and all that stuff. Looting was probably my favorite part. Oh, zombies attracted to me. Minimap is your best friend whenever it comes to zombies being attracted to you. You just look on there and you'll be able to tell where they are. They'll light up with the red blips. Yeah, I need to change this. Let's destroy this. That way I have the 2x4 a little bit stronger. Yeah, search the cabins here. Let's see if we can find anybody alive. Doubtful. But we'll see. Oh, there's somebody. She's not alive. Gang up on her. Oh, okay. <laughs> Combat can get crazy in this game, too. All right, we're searching. What are we going to find? Well, found nothing. Absolutely diddly squat. Oh, shit. What's in this we can one? Just hole up here with the last of the tequila until this all blows over? Somehow I doubt it. Yeah, I doubt it, Ed. Yeah, me too. Not right now. Oh, no. Ah. Bit. Oh, okay. No, but don't worry. You, it just being bit doesn't mean that you're going to die. Not in this world. All right, nobody's here, but let's see if we can find any good resources. Okay. Hey, wait. I thought I took some damage. Shit, I haven't played this game for a while. Maybe I had a mod installed. I'll have to check that later. Okay. I think that's about all there is to find you. Let's get the hell back to the ranger station. Get out of here. Or we go check out those gunshots we heard. All right. Kind of hoping you'd forgotten about that. Yeah, well, I didn't, Ed. We're going to go investigate. <coughs> oh, fighting skill increased. Let's also see what we can find in this while we're at it. <coughs> oh, there it is. <coughs> I lost some health there. Okay. I guess maybe it's just a glitch or something? I don't know. Now I have lost health. So, whenever you lose health, you can use your health items with right bumper or console. I forget what it is for PC, but I haven't played on PC for this one as much. Even when I play on PC, I use a controller. It's just easier for me. Don't make fun of me. I'm not a console peasant. I, I'm, I'm a master racer, just like you, I swear. Let's get this guy. Come on, boy. <laughs> Bitch. Four. There we go. Oh. Nope, nope, nope. That ain't no. Oh, come on. Four. Oh, he's dead. Okay, we're, we're going down here to investigate the gunshots. So I'm going the wrong way. You can also eat a snack to get an insane speed boost. Like an infinite sprint for a little while. And it gives your stamina infinitely for a little bit. So it's a nice way to get out of a pinch. You know? I'm going to investigate these little houses over here before I go and see her. Like there's somebody up there that needs help. Four. Oh no, Marcus, you keep getting hit. Why here? Jesus. So if I can find more painkillers, and I'm rusty. I am rusty. Ooh, that's a hatchet. Nice. I'll take that. I am rusty in this game, man. I swear. Okay. Oh, come on, come on. Not alone. Uh, I'll quiet here. I hate the jump scares. It still scares me after all these years. Alright. That's more snacks. I'm finding snacks, but I need meds. <laughs> Marcus needs meds, bro. And after every type of activity upgrades your skills, so just searching through upgrades your wits, so that when you search through again, you don't make as much noise. And you're able to plunder buildings a lot easier. Not alone in here. Oh, damn it! <laughs> he didn't cause any damage to me for some reason. Oh, four. there we go. That powerhouse. And some of them have uh, special, um, special built, special skill lines. Like Marcus has powerhouse, so he does a lot better with like blunt or heavy weapons, and then you can upgrade them even more. So it's a lot of customization and a lot of survivability. So I love the whole aspect of the game. I mean, it goes more than just killing zombies, but killing zombies is a big part of it. Oh, we're gonna have to jump this cliff to get back up there. Let's just keep on running. Master Sprinter, this is the best way to level up your, your cardio. Just take a snack and just infant sprint. Oh, I think they're faking it. Let's take my knee. 
If you use all your stamina, you fight weaker like this. But you can still use those other things. Oof, boy. I'm a bit of a completionist, Strat fans, so sorry if uh, I spend a lot of time on Mount Tanner just killing Zeds. But it's just because I want to collect everything, that's all. Alright. Okay. One thing I was kind of upset about, you can't ever like have Ed or whoever is with you carry stuff as well. It's only you that can carry stuff. Damn, we just mowed through those guys. Oh, there we go. Mowed through them. Alright, let's see. I think it's in the back. Yeah, the back room here. All quiet here. All quiet in here. Let's see if we can find any. Oh, meds. This will be meds. I swear it'll be meds. Mark my words. Come on. Yes, meds. Awesome. I need it. Oh, more meds. Yes, thank you. Alrighty. Let's eat another one of these and then start running. Oh, I'm about, my 2x4 is about finished. Oh, there we go. A little bit of lag there. Two by four is about done. I might have to switch to a hatchet soon. I think uh, coming up towards the gunshots, I'm gonna investigate this field here before I get there, and then that's pretty much everything we covered, other than the orchard or that warehouse or whatever. All quiet here. All quiet. Let's search. Let's get this search going on. All right. Oh, I'll take that revolver. Let's that won't destroy work. that. I don't need these backpacks. The small backpacks are the weak virgin backpacks. You want the, the Chad large backpacks so you can carry more. Just be careful because if you're overweight, you're going to be draining stamina all the time. We're almost there. After we go to this incident here. Oh, I hear more gunshots. Let's keep on going. That's what we can do to help. Oh, what the hell? Colton? Strand? <laughs> what the hell? I got to fix that. Let's not pull out a gun until we fix that. <laughs> Incoming. Okay. Let's see if I can. Um, okay, I can pull that one. Okay. I think that's probably. Incoming. Okay. But more of them are going to be coming because of the loud sounds. Back here, let's get him. Oh, there we go. Holy shit, are you okay? You mean aside from being lost in the woods, attacked by psychopaths, and watching two of my best friends die? Yeah, I'm Peachy. Sorry I asked. So, is it this bad everywhere? Man, I hope not. We got some survivors back at the ranger station that seem to know what's going on, but we didn't have time for orientation. Well then. Let's get the hell back here. You want to take point, or should I? I'll take point. Don't worry. But you can switch between people by going into the journals here and switch between them. I'm going to take point, though, Maya. All right, let's go. She's an army veteran. That's another thing. Looking at here, you Burberry, can see the traits like here. Born something. leader, clerk, loved hiking, know, natural athlete. Well, She's a soldier, eagle-eyed, he's a team next? player, loved Razor idol. Wire, guard towers? You know, all that stuff. That's it determines idea, what type actually. of special yeah. skill lines they have. Really unique for a survival game to allow you to have community management, you know? Ugh. There we go. I love to see their heads explode. Okay, let's run on back. Take a snack and I'll run. Wherever I was going, I was running. Yeah, this is one of the few instances where a black guy doesn't die. <laughs> you know? They got all these horror movies and shit where the black guy dies first. Nope. Not in this game. Status K says no to that. I think there's one. Yep. One more luck charging at us. Okay. Oh, 
Okay. Thomas, we're back. We're back. Oh no. What the hell? I thought you said you had survivors holed up in here. They were fine just a minute ago. Well, obviously not anymore. Oh, Jesus. Guys, guys, come on. We gotta at least check the place. Somebody might have survived. No, I, I, I think these two are definitely gone. He ain't moving. <sighs> He's gone. Yeah. Poor bastard. Well, let's see if he's got a wallet on him or something. What the hell, Ed? Yeah, what the fuck? Check, check his ID for Christ's oh, sake. He twitched. Ed. Oh, Ed, oh my god. Shit! Get it off! Oof. Thomas is dead. That guy was dead. I swear to God, that guy, he was dead. How the hell does that happen? I don't know, man. Doesn't make sense. We can't stay here. Come on, let's grab what we can and get moving. Yeah, let's see what they had in the safe at least. Well, we got, we got at least those. All right, let's go. Now I believe there was a warehouse over here that had a car, but I don't know if that's the best way to go because I think there's a, I think the bridge is out if I remember correctly. So, where are we going? I don't know. I guess we just head to town and try to find somebody. Yeah, or, or, well, I kind of took that guy's walkie-talkie. Maybe we can raise somebody on that. Jesus, Ed, why did you do that? I don't know. I figured if he had a radio, there must be somebody on the other end. Yeah, so that's a good idea. And you expect his friends to help us out? <clears throat> Wait, who says they're his friends? I mean, maybe they didn't even really like the guy. Dad? Dad, are you there? Oh, shit, Ed. Oh, shit. Uh, hello? Can you hear me? Who is this? Listen, we're stuck up here on Mount Tanner. My friend needs medical attention. Can you help us? Can you make it down to Spencer's Mill? Some of us are holed up at the church. If your friend doesn't look too dicey, we'll let you in. The church in Spencer's Mill. We're on our way. We'll, uh, try not to look too dicey? Oh, boy. I'm gonna destroy this and grab this one. Jesus, dude, they're not slowing down. <laughs> there he goes. I doubt I can make this over the bridge. But I'm willing to try. Alright, keep on going, keep on going. Oh. Yeah, I think the bridge is... Oh. It's repaired. Oh, I think it's a mod. Mod I had that repaired it. We're headed your way. You said you were holed up in a church? What the hell's happening around here? You haven't heard? No cell reception at the lake. Guess you could say we've been out of the loop. All we know is a bunch of crazy, crazy people, people tried to eat, eat us. us. It started, what, 12, 13 days ago? At first it was just weird stories on the news. Random mauling, violent incidents at hospitals, black helicopters in the sky, just strange stuff. I guess they were trying to keep it quiet. That didn't last too long. People figured it out pretty quick. Mm -hmm. People who die, just, they don't stay dead. They come back as one of those things. I told you that guy was dead. Seems like the only way to stop them for good is with a shot to the head. Anything else, they just keep coming. Just keep coming. So you're saying those things are zombies? I don't know. So how'd you end up on this frequency? Just lucky, I guess. It was pretty chaotic up at the lake. You're not gonna tell her? I don't know yet. Dude, it's her dad. You want to confess that we killed, killed her father and stole his radio before they patch you up? Right? Yeah, okay, maybe, maybe we leave that yeah, part yeah, out. Yeah, just leave it out, Ed, until they patch you up, man. Christ. All right, let's park it. And here we are. Lily, did you invite these strangers? I'm good. You made it. 
That one doesn't look so good. Name's Ed. Pleased to meet you. Come with me, son. We'll see to those God words. damn it! We got enough trouble without bringing in another freeloader to use up all our medicine. Real nice, Alan. I offered them shelter. I'm letting them in. Us freeloaders have to stick together. Girl's got the common sense God gave a tree stump. You're worse than your brother. Come on. I'll give you the nickel tour. All right. Oh, nice to meet you, Alan. Dick. All right. Follow Lily. I spend most of my time here, using the radio to coordinate everyone. Okay, pretty nice, pretty nice. It's not what I would want in a home, but yeah, it's cozy. Next up's the kitchen. Sam's our unofficial in-house chef, but, well, there's only so much anybody can do with canned soup and pork rinds. Seriously, yeah, though, yeah. rule number one, all the food stays in here and it stays sealed. You wouldn't believe how fast rats get into things otherwise. We learned that one the hard way. Well, you know. Oh, and there he is. Sleeping quarters? Uh, hope you don't mind sharing. We're pretty tight on space here. Alan's been saying we should move to someplace bigger, but my dad's a carpenter, and he says we could build like a dorm room or something to get more space. How many people do you have here? I think you've met just about everybody, except maybe my brother and my dad. They're out scouting for supplies, I think, and haven't heard from them in a while. Rest easy, son. Oh, How do you feel? Like somebody oh, took a weed whack in my Lord. fucking neck. We may have something here for the pain, but I'm more concerned about this fever. Could be a sign of infection. We'll need to get Dr. Hansen out here. I'll see if I can get him on the radio. Hey, thanks, I, uh, I appreciate the hospitality. Do not forget to entertain strangers, for by so doing, some have unwittingly entertained angels. How about that? I might be an angel. Mm. You might be it. Yeah, it looks like a pretty nice place. The wall is nice and naturally defended. I didn't want to say this in front of your friend, but fever is a bad sign, especially after a bite. Pastor Will's going to try and get Doc Hansen to come down and take a look at him, but if he doesn't get some antibiotics, he's probably not going to make it. If it comes to that, I promise Alan will take care of him. Bullet to the brain before he turns. It's for the best. Jesus, Lily, he's not a rabid dog. Don't you get it? More of us didn't make it than did. We can't be soft-hearted about this. Not anymore. She's right, you know. But we need medicine here anyway. You can't be sick. You understand? No one can be sick. So that's it, huh? Nice to meet you. Would you prefer to be shot in the face or kicked out on your asses? No, it's... Okay, look. We're barely hanging on here as it is. Medicine was some of the first stuff to run out. We don't have any to spare for your friend. I'm sorry. That's just the way it is. It's just the way it what is. What if I find some more? Will that help pay our rent? <sighs> yeah. Okay, sure. If you can find a place to get more medicine, I'll make sure your friend has a place to stay. His name is Ed. Mm -hmm. I know. All right, Lily. If you need to resupply before you head out, check the locker. Nobody minds if you're getting shit done and you need extra stuff. Just don't take shit you haven't earned. Gotcha, Sam. In here. Wait, what? There's a cell tower behind the swine and bovine. From up there, you should be able to get a good look at the town. Maybe you'll spot some place to find medicine. I owe you one. Just hurry, okay? I'm not sure how long I can rein Alan in. All right. Let's go and see if I can spot any medicine place. I'm gonna take a car. Pick up. How did you all end up at the church anyway? Geez, I don't know. At first it just seemed like the place to go, you know? End of the world and all that. Then we started hearing about how bad it was getting. Other people tried to go it alone and ended up. Well, we just started. Yeah, this horde. There he just goes. Just the six of you. No. There used to be 12 of us. Rule number one. Wait, is there still one there? Oh. There you go. All taken care of now. I think I can get a decent view from up there. Come on, you. Ha <laughs> ha, 
Let's search this fast food joint, see if we can find anything. Outpost is a good thing as well. If you see your base is losing a lot of resources each day, having outpost will help counteract that. They are limited though, but I think I had a mod installed that increased the limit, but I'm not sure. We've got this place locked down. All right, there's the other search spot right there. I just had to have the, the prompt pop up. Okay, I got a paper cutter arm. Nice. I got a couple rucksacks. I'm loaded up. See you back in base. Let's load it into we'll the back soon. of the car. There you go. Four cars. They make a lot of noise. All right, let's get up here and see what we can find. Okay. Get on up, moving on up. Love the music, by the way. Music really nice. Made it. Gonna look around now. Hey, what's that? There's a vet clinic. It's like a vet's office or something. Oh yeah, Dr. Gilroy's clinic. What about it? Well, antibiotics for dogs aren't any different than antibiotics for people. And it looks like no one's broken in. Huh, that's a good idea. Okay, sounds like it's worth checking out. Somebody's broadcasting something. Seems like you folks know what you're doing. What would you say to us joining forces? You might want to go check it out. I'm sending Alan and Sam to meet you at the clinic. Alan? Gee, thanks. It was that, or let him stay here and keep grumbling about kicking you and Ed out. Point. Guess that's all there is all to right. see. We cataloged everything we could. Let's lock eyes on the clinic. Yep, I knew they were going to be here. Do me a favor and don't keep it. driving up like a dumbass. What Alan's trying to say is cars make noise. Then like well, they don't exactly go on trees, and we only got so much fuel to keep them running. So we gotta be careful about when we use them. Yeah, they say the fuel thing, but that wasn't actually a, a thing until uh, State of the Council. Alright, Powerful weapon in the game, the car door. Oh, she went flying. And there's Powerhouse. You can indicate which car is yours on the minimap with the little, like, lines About time on top you showed up. Let's get this show on the road. You're the newbie, so you get a bust in the window. The door will make less noise. Or, hey, you could do it like a total fucking idiot. Up to you. Just get yeah. us inside. Let's see. I like the mural. Let's Take see. This. I think, uh... I, need it, Sam. I think I'll do it like a total fucking idiot. Yeah, let's do it, Sam. Like a total fucking idiot. All right, hop to it. Let's get this done and get the hell out. Try to keep the zombies outside, huh? And who the hell put you in charge? How about years of experience on the beat, huh? How's that grab you? I didn't realize that the problems of fish and wildlife counted as a beat. Laugh if you want. I'm still the only law enforcement <laughs> officer on duty. Fishing and wildlife. Yeah, and if we gotta deal with any zombie trout, you'll be the first motherfucker I call. Goddamn motherfucking piece of shit. What's wrong? Hole in the fucking rucksack. <laughs> <website. laughs> so tape it shut and keep loading. <laughs> You're inside. <laughs> Let's ditch this bitch and go home. Let's hoof it, people. Stay low, stay quiet. Bad enough, we gotta make this charity run. Let's not waste all our damn ammo to boot. 
Mm. He's just a ray of sunshine, ain't he? Looks like trouble up ahead there. Try to keep out of their line of sight. Zeds will come check out just about anything louder than a solid smack on the head. But their eyesight's for shit. If they can't see you, they can't eat you. Will you two shut up and get moving? I'm not getting paid to babysit. Oh, excuse me out of hell for trying to keep the newbie alive. Zed's up ahead. God damn it. Well, we might have to deal with this horde here. for cracking heads. Good work out there. All right. We got Zeds at nine o'clock. Goddamn Zeds, man. They just keep coming. But my powerhouse is allowing me to just crack them open. Leadership level three. I'm getting there. We're getting Marcus leveled up. Better get ready. We'll be on them soon if we keep going this way. I'm gonna deal with them. These ones are the weirdest looking ones. Like they've been sitting in the in the marsh for a while. Zombies up ahead. Go through or go around. <clears throat> This fella. Motherfuck, this piece of shit rucksack's coming apart at the seams. At this rate, I'm gonna lose half this shit before we get home. I'll go find us a ride. No, goddammit! Cars are too dangerous. Just leave it. Kiss my ass, Alan. Lily needs these mitts. Fuck you. Wow. Just a ray of Get your ass back here, Alan. Sunshine. Alan! Man. God damn it! Come on, let's find a ride and get this shit home. Damn, I'm tired. Cover me! I'm gonna go grab my ride. Let's grab my ride instead. Two by four, but I have a knife. Okay, I'm gonna grab the rest of the meds here. In fact, we've got check. this place locked down. Let's check the home. We're losing one med daily. Okay, so I probably could establish an outpost here, which would work. Yeah, I think we could hold this place. Really? Are you sure? Yeah. Tell the gang we're building an outpost here. Yeah, let's get that outpost. Sit tight. I'm bringing this stuff home. Roger that. We'll be waiting. Coming home now. Yeah, outposts are really good to have because you can get some resources daily through it. And that way, you don't have to worry about going out and finding some every so often. Kind of defeats the whole scavenging aspect of it, but at the same time, you're only going to be able to do so many outposts, so eventually one resource you're going to have to scavenge for all the time. And it usually ends up being building materials because so, they Alan, huh? cost that. Yes. He's a shithead, but look on the bright side. He's only about half as stupid as he looks. Plus, he's not half bad in a fight. Now that's an infestation. How's it going? Thanks for the ride. We'll take it from here. There you go. Don't say I never Drop gave you Drop off nothing. those supplies. Oh, what you got? Oh, you know, stuff. Got a lot of food, got some ammo. Right. We got your cycle for phosphamide, Lily. I didn't see any of that methyl, whatever. Hey, you said we were getting antibiotics for Ed. <laughs> Relax. We got, we got those, those too. too. What the hell is going on here? Okay, okay, look. 
I've got this condition. Lupus? Uh, it's chronic. Please. No cure. Without medication, your friend needs antibiotics. I need medicine, so I kinda sent you to a place you might find both. So, you used me. I didn't th Just let me know when you find the doc. I mean, she, she it, it's a mutual beneficial arrangement. There you, you know. go. Don't say I never Marcus, gave you nothing. I don't think it's really being used as much as it is just you both are benefiting. It's the same aspect. You're finding the same thing. All right. So that's the first part done. Before we end the episode, I'm going to show you a little bit about this. So now, because of the outpost, we have two meds daily, which is great. We also have a lot of food we need. We also are losing a lot of materials daily. This is the building screen. This is where you go to build stuff to enhance, and also you can see your outposts. So I can have four outposts right now. I have a dock room. I wanted to get either a workshop or perhaps a garden, but this is not a good area for that. I would rather get a workshop built so that I can start to work on cars and all that. I could snipe some zombies or upgrade that. It's a little bit of preparing, and then we're going to piece together some snacks from what we have. When we upgrade this, we can make some medicine out of the general medicine we have up here. That was episode one of Stay of the Cave. We got Ed on the med. We're going to start fortifying up, and next episode, we're going to do a lot of scavenging and killing zombies. So I hope you guys enjoyed this Stay of the Cave first look. It's going to be a ways until I get the story completely done. Like I said, this will be just going back to a classic, playing the main story, seeing how it feels today, and just enjoying enjoying myself and hopefully you guys are enjoying this as well. If it goes well, y'all like it. I'll do Breakdown, which is a lot more intensive with the whole core gameplay. Might even do Lifeline, which is a lot more story driven and awesome, I might add. So again, if you guys enjoyed what you see, make sure to smash that like button, leave a comment down below what you think, sub to me, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any more Colonel Strat. And again, this is me, Colonel Strat. Remember to keep it strategic, Strat fans. I don't want